It's uh, July 3rd. It's evening time here in the Ant Village. And uh, I had a good day today. Uh, last night, Jim had a movie night over at his house. He's got a little solar, like a 75 watt solar system and uh, a projector and a sheet. And so we all sat down and watched a movie. That was pretty cool. Um, I was up late, so I slept in late, but I still got some stuff done today. Uh, peeled the big log and uh, met my new neighbor, Steve, who's actually Evan's dad. And he's out here to retire, so it's a pretty cool retirement. Um, he's got the plot between me and, and Evan's uh, plots right over there, so he's my new neighbor and he's right in between us. That's really cool. Um, and then I needed to char some posts for the retaining walls on my house over there. Um, and so I built the fire pit. Let me show it to you. So I'm charring the logs because apparently it makes them last a little bit longer in the ground. Builds up a little layer of creosote um, under the charcoal which prevents bacteria and other stuff from eating up the posts. But I also made them really big thick posts so it'll take a long time to rot out because these are going to be out in the weather. Um, so I dug this little fire pit out in this area that's, you know, it's all dug up so I know there's no roots and stuff underground. Um, it is possible to catch a root underground and not know about it. I've got some water, so I've got a bucket of water and shovels and stuff too for fire safety. But um, what I try to do with this pit, besides the nice log shoot, was I had all these rocks I was digging up. So I'm trying to make what's called a Rumford fireplace. It's a lot like a normal fireplace, except it's got these angled walls on the back. You can see from this angle. And those reflect heat back out towards the people who sit out on the uh, kind of little deck I dug here. I'll probably put some logs or something to sit on. But just a little bit more efficient. People can get some heat from the fire without having to sit too close. Hopefully the smoke doesn't go uh, in the <laughs> direction of the seats. But um, it's working pretty well. I already got this other log over here ch charred up. You can see I'm going to put it three feet in the ground. So I did a little bit over three feet. It looks pretty good. Good morning. Uh, it's the morning, July 5th, I'm out here uh, in the Ant Village. Uh, last night we had a nice little barbecue down at base camp with Paul and Jocelyn uh, for 4th of July. Uh, ate some nice food and had a good times with each other, so that was really fun. Um, this morning I'm out, I'm gonna collect a tree. And um, when I collect a tree, I just don't go out and find any tree. Um, Ernie Wisner taught me a lot about. Uh, how to selectively log for the health of the forest. And so that's kind of what I try to do when I'm picking for trees. So this morning, I picked this tree over here with the ax in it. And the reason I picked this one, for one, it's close to the road so I can get to it. Um, also, you can see it's growing close to these other trees. Um, and we want to thin them out a little bit, give the, these younger trees room to grow. So we'll pull this one out as well. See how it's growing out of these multiple stumps? It's almost a double tree down here. Uh, these types of trees are weaker. They're more likely to fall over in a windstorm. So I'm going to take this one out. It'll let these other two trees next to it be a little healthier. And I'll get another log for my buildings. Got this bird eating the Saskatoon berries. Oh, there she goes. So I'm getting some progress done on the uh, first retaining wall here. Uh, this is the design I came up with here. I don't know, but I think it looks pretty cool. Like I said before, it's gonna these three beams here are gonna rest against that vertical post in the house. I'll hold the back, dirt back up there. And then down here, I'm going to put two posts. I got these cut and kind of knots so they fit together nice and neat. I'm going to dig my ho holes right here. Got my posts. Got my post hole digger. And all I need is a, a lot of energy. So I went out to find a rock bar. I come back and there's a snake trapped in my hole. Hello, buddy. Sorry I built the trap for you. 
It's a real good sign. There's lots of mice and gophers around here, so maybe that guy will get real big. Take care of the gopher problem for me. Oh man, it's been a really good day. I uh, got up early, got a lot of work done. Uh, felled three trees and peeled a couple of them. One of them was half dead when I felled it, so I decided it would be uh, better unpeeled. But uh, then I started digging this hole over here, uh, realizing that if you don't have the right tools for a job, it's really hard to, to get stuff done. So I'm going to be uh, organizing my tools here soon. And because uh, you can waste a lot of time just walking around looking for something that you have, but don't know where it is. That was, that's what happened to the rock bar today. Uh, that black thing back there. Uh, digging through rocks and clay is pretty difficult without one of those. So I found the rock bar. Ben knew where it was, and then he came over and he helped me dig the hole, which is amazing because my back is hurting by that time of day. Pretty tired now. Still might go on a bike ride, but uh, we were able to get that hole down to three feet, which is really cool. It was good to have his help, and uh, I realized I could probably use some help out here too. So um, if anybody's interested in coming out and living out here and helping me out and I'll teach you what I know about uh, round pole building and permaculture and if you like bikes that's really cool too so going out to the uh, Wheaton Labs forum at permies.com you can just google Wheaton Labs forum and uh, check out the Gapper program um, and get in touch with me so this is how I think I'm going to be making the videos from now on. hope you guys like it. I'd appreciate your feedback. So leave comments on the video or on my Patreon account. Um, if you like what I'm doing, you can follow me on Instagram, at OneHeartFire, spelled out, OneHeartFire. Um, try to post some pictures when I get down on the internet. And uh, if you want to help support my project, go out to Patreon.com slash Jesse Grimes. There's a link down below. Um, donate per video and that really helps me out helps me get tools helps me get supplies get some food you always need need the tools and the supplies you need to do what you do so uh i really appreciate all the patrons that are helping me out right now uh, thank you so much thank you so much and uh i hope you guys are enjoying the videos look forward to uh putting out a lot more